Hey Defenders, welcome back. So in the last video we discussed how Wazoo can detect files changing on a server and alert you and your team on uh, file creations, file modifications, file deletions, as well as ownership and permissions of that file. Um, so that's, that's great, but that also can lead to a lot of false positives and, well, not particularly false positives, but can alert your team on a lot of file changes that you may not necessarily care about and can take up a lot of time if your team is spending a lot of time investigating every file that changes uh, or is added to a server, especially uh, like log files being written to. And yes, you can write ex exemptions around that, um, but this can get very bogged down especially if you have a big network with many servers um, this can lead your team to wasting a lot of time around that analysis and so what we can do is add a little bit of intelligence to our uh, file integrity management process and so what wazoo offers is the ability to add integrations integrations being virus total slack uh, jira you can build your own jira integrations and what's great and will be the the topic of this video will be the virus total integration uh, so what this is doing under the hood is anytime a file is added to a server it will generate the you know as part of the syscheck daemon right that runs on the wazoo agent when that runs it generates a hash value and so what we can do with this integration is virus total gives us the ability with a free api um, to submit hashes to their platform it'll run its analysis and it will return back to us if that hash has been identified with any malware uh, and then we'll create a separate alert to have Wazoo alert us on that. So this allows for our team to do other, you know, daily tasks and will only bring our team involved is if a file was added or changed on the box that has a hash that matches a known uh, malicious hash that's stored within, within VirusTotal. So let's kind of draw out what's happening here. So we have our Wazoo agent. We have our Wazoo manager. And then to make this easy, I'll just throw out a cloud and we'll call this virus total. So what's happening uh, on the box is when a file is added to the server, the Wazoo agent is going to scan that file with the syscheck uh, process and generate a hash. When it generates a hash, it's going to go ahead and forward it over to our Wazoo manager. Our Wazoo manager is going to receive that hash and he's going to say, okay, I see you're giving me a new hash. Let me then compare that to virus total. And so the Wazoo manager is then going to call out to VirusTotal and say, hey, here's uh, the hash I'm providing. And then VirusTotal will send it back to the manager with its results. And then depending on the results, if it has any hits or not, will be alerted uh, accordingly. And so we can really streamline this process and allow our investigators to work on other tasks without constantly watching you know every file that's changing on the box um, and wazoo allows you to add however many integrations you want um, you can build your own integrations for like maybe an abuse i i b t i i b p d abuse is that right abuse i p d b yeah there we go <laughs> um you can build integration for that. You could really build integration for whatever you want. Um, integration for the Hive, which is another tool we'll talk about later. But in this case, what, what comes out of the box, virus total does come out of the box um, with Wazoo. And we just need to now set that up. So there's a few steps we have to take. Uh, first, within virus total, 
we need to sign up for free. Uh, once you do that, you will then be given an API key to your profile. Um, this API key is stored here. Uh, and whatever, I don't care if you guys use this. Uh, if you go over the, the request per minute, per day, or per month, they'll just disallow requests, so it'll be at your own loss. It's not gonna charge me any anything. Um, so once you set that up, there is the, and this is easy to do, it just takes a, a valid email address and you can get your API key for free. If you're uh, looking for a more enterprise solution, VirusTotal and free plug, I guess, for VirusTotal, you can purchase other tiers to where you get more requests per minute, per day, and per month. Uh, you can get all the way up to an unlimited tier. So if you have a lot of servers within your network that a lot of changes are being done at a, at a, you know, at a similar time, um, so you don't get throttled by virus total. They have different subscription packages for that. So we have our API key and now we need to add this block here within the osec.conf on our manager. So we'll go ahead and just copy this code and we will get onto the wazoo manager and we're going to open the config file for that, which is under var osec etc osec.conf and I'm just gonna scroll down uh, and just find a good spot to throw it I'll just place it right here so I've just copied that over and then we need to replace the API key bracket here with our own API key so I'll go back into virus total copy this guy and paste it in here and so that's it we'll go ahead and save and we're going to go ahead and restart the Wazoo Manager process. So the Wazoo Manager service has restarted. We'll go ahead and go back into our Wazoo app that's in Kibana. Um, if you haven't set this up yet, uh, take a look at my previous videos and you'll learn how to do that and set up your own instance. We're going to go ahead and go into settings and we're going to select modules. And Wazoo also offers a virus total module uh, that's off by default, so we just need to select this checkbox here to enable it. And now with that enabled, we can go to our modules and then we see this virus total dashboard here. So here now let's try to generate, let's see if we can generate an alert. So I'll log back onto my Wazoo agent and now let's download a known malicious file. Um, so there's this website here, uh, dowsmalwork.eu. <laughs> uh, there he provides samples of known malware. And so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll just grab one of these. Uh, we'll just copy the link address. I will get back on my agent and just run a wget out to that. Okay, and it looks like it's a zip file, so we'll need to then unzip. Uh, password is infected. All right, so then we'll give this a few minutes. So now this is, so now known malware has hit my server, right, where my Wazoo agent is running on. So let's see how the Wazoo agent and the alert kind of responds to that. So if we go ahead and refresh, boom, we already see that within our virus total dashboard, we have two malicious files here and two of them are positives. So what just happened there is going back to our diagram, the Wazoo agent said, hey, I have a hash value uh, of this of, we can actually see that if we, let's go ahead and go into the events. Let's go ahead and drop down. And here we have a hash value of this here. So the Wazoo agent sends that off to the manager. The manager says, hey, virus total, I want you to query this hash for me in your database and see if it's been known to be related to any, to any malware. Sure enough, virus total said, yep, you actually have four positive hits and this has been this hash has been associated with four hits of, of malware 
right? And what's also nice is that they provide us a link. So upon receiving an alert like this, we can go, we can select the link, go into virus total. And so then we see, you know, uploads by the community of, you know, what type of malware this hash has been associated with. Uh, but then we can run some details, you know, we get the hash. So here we see our SHA-1 hash again, uh, which correlates to this here, right? Um, so what's really nice about, and this works for, for Linux, I just did Linux in this example, but also for Windows. Um, and what's, what's really nice about this is this really take, gives time back to your analysts. And instead of you know, manually looking at every file change on a box, you know, copying the hash value, uploading it to VirusTotal or whatever threat feeds you're, you, you guys are currently using, this process is automated for you. Uh, and so let's let's go ahead and kind of look what's going on under the hood. So on the manager, there is a directory uh, called integrations. So if we list these guides out, these are the ones that, are, that come default with Wazoo. So if your team is also using Slack or PagerDuty, there's built-in integration for that as well. And we'll go ahead and open the virustotal.py. And here you can see the Python script uh, that has been written by the OSEC guys to automate this process for us, which is really nice. And all that's required of us is to go into the OSEC.conf and fill in a simple block with our API key uh, right here, right? How easy is that? And also what we're saying is I have a group of syscheck. So this value can either be rule ID or it can be a group of syscheck. So if you guys remember in the previous video when we go into integrity monitoring here, what as part of the rule ID that looks for syscheck, uh, or sorry, file changes or modifications or additions, those rules are associated with the syscheck group. So if uh, when I go to events, you all, you see that this guy is filtered on here, right? So this rule description of integrity checksum changed that you see here. If I scroll down, he belongs to this group of syscheck, which is here. So if I parse this guy out here, you see for every rule description, whether it's integrity checks some change, whether it's file added to the system, ha associates with this rule group of syscheck. So when we're telling, when we have this tag here of group syscheck, what, what, what we're telling the Wazoo manager is say, hey, any rule that's associated with this group, I want you to run the virus total integration for. What uh, uh, we can also associate it by rule ID so maybe if you're limited to virus total calls, right? You only have four within a minute, like uh, say like what we have, we can associate a rule, a specific rule ID. So if I only want to run virus total for files added to the system, I see a rule ID of 554. So what I can do is instead of running it on the syscheck group, I just do it on rule ID 554. And that will save, uh, you know, that that'll save me queries. So I don't run the risk of missing an alert because I exceeded my query limit, uh, my API call limit for virus total, right? So you can kind of limit that. You, what you could also do is say you only want to run virus virus total calls on like .exes, .bats, .dlls. Um, you can do so by creating separate rules that will only fire on .exe additions or .dll changes and then you can specify those rule IDs within this tag to then save queries and only run virus total queries on um, on files that you want it to run on because right now with the group syscheck that we had th this would also run on like a log a dot log file a, a 
temp file, a text file, right? And that would burn my API calls. Like, and so you can, you can throttle and limit how many calls you make. You can kind of control that yourself um, with some sophistication of around creating different rules that would fire on, on particular file extensions that you would like to monitor. So what's great is this capability that's built in uh, to Wazoo without really any sophistication of our own. We're not writing any Python scripts. Uh, that's all been handled for us. And what we can also do is you kind of saw what was going on under the hood. So, so say you also set this up and it's not working as you think it should. Um, if we go into the var and it's not working correctly and you're trying to figure out what's going on or you want to see when exactly does the wazoo manager make a call to virus total uh, we can go into the var osec log directory and there is an integrations.log so what we can do is we can tail this integrations.log and you see some of my other previous hits right so now so let's do another file Let's download this guy and let's see the virus total integration be called. So if I do a wget and download this guy, see, uh, you see our virus total calls just went out. And then if I unzip, it'll now run. So that would be a good example of creating a rule ID. Say I don't care about .zip files, I only care about like a .exe. As you can see, we, a .zip was added and four, it looked like four API calls just went there, four or five calls just went. And now if I unzip this, do the password, I'm gonna hit that minute uh, timer. So this is a really powerful integration that can really save your team time and also give you really good intelligence and let you know, you know when you need to react. And not only when, know when you need to react, but it gives you the exact uh, file, right? It gives you the file, it gives you hash, it gives you a link to virus total itself to where you can see what the community is saying around it and it's a really powerful tool to add to your arsenal and keep you on the proactive defense and bring attention to your team a lot faster uh, than it may have been by having this, you know, a manual process of analyzing hash values of particular files. And uh, as always, appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And as always, let me know down below what you liked or disliked about this video, any errors I may have made, as well as recommendations for other open source tools you think I should explore.